when you look at the sky you can see stars and planets all hanging in the space how are these bodies held in space the one word answer is gravity but how does it work why does the moon rotate around the earth why do the planets go around the sun it needs more explanation than just a word this try to answer some of these questions the force causing planets to orbit is the same that causes objects to fall towards the earth Newton supported his notion by cannonball through experiments. When a cannonball fires, the ball hits the ground. With a greater force, it will go a little further. If fired with an immense force, the ball would never hit the ground. such an object would be said to be in orbit around the earth always falling towards the earth but never hitting it the moon and the cannonball both going around the earth by the same force Every object that contains mass will exert gravity on every other object. Space agencies use Newton's law even today to send space missions, but there was a problem. Newton could describe gravity, but he didn't know how it worked. In 1916, Einstein published theory of general relativity. which revolutionized the way we think of gravity. To explain gravity, Einstein imagined space as a stretchy fabric. Massive objects bend the fabric. Curves in the space-time fabric introduces gravity. Earth's curvature is forcing the moon to go around it. and the same force causes the earth to go around the sun. Newton's understanding of gravity was incomplete. The detection of the gravitational waves in LIGO experiment in 2015 confirmed Einstein's theory. Do we know all about gravity now? Not yet. Gravity continues to remain mysterious at the quantum level. This video is an attempt to cover a complex topic in the most straightforward manner so that everyone can benefit from it. Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section.